Hi guys, this is Smiley. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time. So today I'm doing this nice warm neutral spring like kind of look. So if you want to know how to get this look, please keep on watching the video. <laughs> So first we're starting off with our base and I've applied some lip balm on my lips so as to keep the moisturized and I'm taking my primer which is the Nivea aftershave balm and I've stored it in this dropper kind of a bottle because it really helps in application that way and I'm just gonna spread it all over my face and put it in wherever I would want my primer to be. It's been a really long time since the last time that I filmed and to be back it really feels good. <laughs> Next I'm moving on with my foundation and I'm using a Pak 265 buffing slash stippling brush <laughs> and with the help of my Maybelline Superstay 24 hour foundation which is in the shade 310 sun beige I'm putting it all over my face in a buffing slash stippling motion and I would also have to say I've tanned up a bit and that is why it looks a little light on my skin but we're able to adjust that by the end of the video. Next for the brows, I'm taking my Wet n Wild Eyebrow Kit, which comes in three pans of that sort. And I'm using my Pack Angled Liner Brush, which is a really thin brush. And I'm gonna use uh, the middle brown shade and the darker brown shade together appropriately to create a nice gradient and sharp edged look for my brows. I'm using this spoolie from an old mascara. Uh, it's actually a mascara wand and I'm using it to brush up my eyebrows. Uh, moving ahead, I have taken my Fit Me Concealer by Maybelline in the shade 20 Sand and I'm applying that under my eyes. And I'm also going to go ahead and apply that on the top of my lids to create a nice eyeshadow base. Then I'm using the same 265 brush from Pak to buff out the concealer on the under eye. I decided not to use a beauty blender just because I don't feel like today. And yeah, I'm doing the same for the lids. I'm also using my finger to really blend out that concealer on the top of that lid so that it feels nice and smooth. Then I'm using this Wet n Wild small concealer brush and taking the same concealer again. I'm just going to clean up my brows a bit just like that so that we get a nice defined look for our brows, which is the way I really like it. <laughs> Wet n Wild has some amazing range of brushes and they come at a really nice price. So if you are wondering, you should definitely check them out. Then I'm taking my Fit Me Pressed Powder in 310 Sun Beige again and with the help of my Royal Techniques setting brush I'm just going to set the concealer that I applied on the top of the lids and also under my eyes. Then I'm applying some of that concealer on the top of my forehead, on the nose, above my lips and also on the chin and again buffing it out with the help of the 265 brush and again setting with the help of my Royal Techniques brush. Then I'm moving on with my Makeup Revolution palette. This is the matte palette. The names of every palette will be given in the description box. And this is the 0 to weight pack brush. And using that shade, I'm just gonna apply that all over my crease to create a nice transition color. Most of my brushes are not washed today. And that is why you might see some color already loaded on the brushes. And I'm really sorry for that. <laughs> Then using that shade right there, the orangey warm shade, I'm just gonna apply that all over my crease with the help of the same 028 pack brush. help of the setting brush that I used earlier I'm just gonna diffuse some of that color moving ahead I'm taking my pack 391 brush and I'm using that warm orangey shade uh, and I'm putting that on the outer V and diffusing it into the crease just like that <laughs> Then I'm 
taking this dark brown shade and the shade that comes above it and I'm applying that on the outer V and again using the same motions just diffusing that into the crease to get that really nice warm look that we've been trying to achieve. Then again I'm using my 0 to 8 brush to diffuse the color nicely so it all looks blended out. Then I'm using these three given shades and I'm taking that on my smudger brush from Color Bar and I'm putting that on the lower lash line. Then taking my Mermaids Forever palette, I have picked up this given shade, which is a nice warm brownish shimmer and I'm putting that all over my lid and mostly concentrating on the inner corner. And then taking that white shimmery shade on one of these brushes that I have from a set of brushes that I bought online and putting that on the inner corner and I'm going to go ahead and also put that on the high points of my brow bone. Define it a bit again. <laughs> Then I'm taking my Lacme eyeliner because I didn't feel like taking any other eyeliner today. This is one that is exclusively probably available only in India. I'm not so much sure, but you can really take whatever eyeliner that you like. And I'm creating a wing just like that. I really like this eyeliner because this is a nice one and it doesn't really do a lot of hassle and it's easy to remove as well. Then I'm taking my Himalaya Kajal. Again, this is one really cheap product and it's probably again exclusively only available in India. And I'm putting that on my lower lash line a little towards the inside so it's not too outright there if you know what I mean. Then I'm taking my lash curler and I'm just gonna curl up my lashes a bit so that my eyes do not look droopy or sleepy whatsoever. <laughs> Then I'm taking my Wet n Wild Skinny Mascara, I think that's what they call them, and I'm gonna apply that all over my upper lashes and also on my lower lashes. I really love this mascara because it has a really, really thin wand, so it allows you to really go in there towards the inner corner lashes and apply your mascara nicely on them as well. Then I'm taking my Pro HD Contour Palette from Makeup Revolution and using this back brush, I'm gonna apply the middle brown shade as a contour color on the hollows of my cheek. And I'm gonna apply that on the temples and also on the sides so as to really counteract the so-called whiteness of my foundation. <clears throat> Sorry for that. Then I'm taking this uh, blush brush from Real Techniques and I'm applying the Sugar Contour de Force Mini Bronzer in the shade Woody Wonder 02 all over my face again so as to warm up my face a bit and again counteract the whiteness. Then I'm taking this nice fluffy brush and using my Color Show blush from Maybelline, I'm applying that blush on the high points of my cheek and I've also decided to contour my nose a bit so I've taken this thin brush from a set of brushes again and I'm applying that same contour shade from the Pro HD palette on the sides of my nose. Then I'm taking the Mario Lou Manizer from the Manizer Sisters palette and using a fan brush I'm just going to apply the highlighter on the cheekbones, on the forehead, on the top of the nose, on the chin, on the cupid's bow, wherever you feel that highlighter is necessary. <laughs> then I'm taking my face's contour lip pencil in blush on. It's more of like a neutral color and I'm applying that all over the linings of my lips and I'm taking this face's matte lip cream again. All the names will be there in the description box below. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this MAC Fix Plus standard version that it comes in, the original one. And I'm spritzing that all over my face so as to give a dewy nice finish. And yeah, that is it for the look.
If you happen to like this tutorial, please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. All my social media links are given in the description box below so be sure to check them out and yeah. And I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Any suggestions or feedbacks that you feel unnecessary for me to know, please leave them down in the comment section below. And that is it for this video guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!